Welcome to BSC Statistics students. In this class, I explain one, one more problem. In the F test for equality of variances is also a small sample test. You see here, in one sample of eight observations, the sum of the squares of the deviations of the sample values from the sample mean was 84.4 and in other sample of 10 observations, it was 102.6. Test whether this difference is significant at 1% level, which means uh, how to test it. You see, this is what one uh, uh, rare question, that is uh, uh, one uh, uh, different question you will get in the examination. How to identify? It is not a test for means, it is not test for uh, proportions, etc. We cannot identify clearly. So, what you want to see here, in a sample of 8 observations, that is n1 is equal to 8, the sum of the squares of the deviation of the sample values, whenever you consider sum of the squares of the deviation, which is nothing but summation xi minus x bar whole square, deviation, that is from the mean, from the sample mean, sample mean is x bar, for example, you consider first sample, sample mean is x bar, deviation is xi minus x bar, sum of the squares of deviation that is summation xi minus x bar whole square. So therefore which, which is related with if you want to test this value it is related with variance. Why? Why because the variance formula is 1 by n summation xi minus x bar whole square something like that is uh, if you want to um, calculate for the first sample 1 by n1 that is only the difference. Okay, so sample variance is nothing but 1 by n summation xi minus x bar whole square. So therefore, sum of the squares of the deviation are given, so it is a test for variances. So sample variance related data is given to, to us and if you want to test the significance difference between these two particular values, that is test whether this difference is significant at 1% level, if you want to test it. Uh, regarding this particular data, you have to consider test for variances because it is uh, some of the squares of the deviations are given, therefore, it is a test for variances, right? So, that is you have to understand it. Now, you come here and observe the data which is that what, what is the data it is given to us. You see here given that n1 is equal to 8 and n2 is equal to 10. And therefore, what are given values? Summation i is equal to 1 to n1 xi minus x bar whole square is equal to 84.4. That is the first value. The same value for the other sample, that is another sample of 10 observations are considered and the same value is summation j is equal to 1 to n2 yj. It is yj. yj minus y bar whole square is equal to 1 or 2.6. So therefore, these are the two values are given. Now you have to calculate uh, whether test whether you have to test whether this difference is significant or not at 1% level. Okay. So null hypothesis, I am formulating uh, one by one the points. Null hypothesis h naught sigma 1 square is equal to sigma 2 square. The difference is not significant. Alternative hypothesis h1 sigma 1 square not equal to sigma 2 square. The difference is significant. The test is statistic under h naught. That is uh, to calculate this, uh, what you have to calculate is, I have explained already, you have to calculate capital S1 square and capital S2 square in the F test for equality of variances. So what is capital S1 square? Now I am giving the detailed formula here, 1 by N1 minus 1, summation Xi minus X bar whole square. So it is not a sample variance, sample variance is 1 by N1 summation Xi minus X bar whole square. The difference between small s1 square and capital s1 square is nothing but 1 by n1 minus 1. 1 by n minus 1, 1 by n. That is, that is all the difference. And so therefore, n1 is uh, 8. So eight, this value is uh, 84.4 uh, and divided by 8 minus 1, hence uh, some value 12.06 you calculate uh, by using calculator. You check whether the, which value is right or not. Uh, and Similarly, you calculate capital S2 square, that is uh, 1 by N2 minus 1, summation J is equal to 1 to N2, YJ minus Y bar whole square. 
this value is 1 or 2.6 divided by n2 minus 1 is 10 minus 1. It is 11.4 some from the value here we, we obtained, we have obtained. And then you have to compare these two. Why we have calculated cap plus 1 square and cap plus 2 square is nothing but uh, you have to compare first which one is more, which one is greater, greater value. So as uh, obviously S1 square is greater than S2 square. Therefore, the formula is of uh, test a statistic under H0, F is equal to B, S1 square by S2 square, which follows F N1 minus 1, N2 minus 1. So therefore, 12.06 divided by 11.4 is nothing but 1.06. You calculate this value. And the finally, the fourth point, the comparison and conclusion are inference. F is equal to 1.06, calculated value. And the tabulated value, F alpha comma n1 minus 1 n2 minus 1 alpha is given as 1 percent, 1 percent level of significance and n1 minus 1 is 8 minus 1 7 n2 minus 1 is 10 minus 1 9. So therefore at 7 comma 9 degrees of freedom at 1 percent level of significance from the F tables that value is 5.62. Therefore calculated value is 1.06, tabulated value is 5.62, therefore 1.06 is less than 5.62, therefore F, F is that is F calculated value, F is less than F 1% comma 7 comma 9 degrees of freedom which implies H naught may be accepted. Therefore, what is H naught? H naught is the difference of the two samples are not significant, right. So, this is what the uh, conduction of F test. Thank you, thank you very much.